Hey everyone, Dale here with LittleRVRentals.com. Uh, today I just want to show you what a little mistake made here. You want to watch, this is what happened with the slide out. Using these bars, forgetting to take them out. You definitely want to make sure you leave yourself a note or take them out. I'll show you inside here. Now there's a gap. Okay, so some of your RVs, they have these little stoppers that you put in for your slide out up here. And you put them up in here so that you hold, obviously my slide out is already out a little bit, but it goes in, hits the wall, and then hits this side corner here. And you put one on each end. And that supposedly stops it from, if something ever malfunctioned with the gears, it, uh, this wouldn't slide out while you're going down the highway. Definitely a good idea. But man, if you forget to take these out, don't ever forget to take them out like I did once. And I was in a hurry, and I thought that the trailer was just on level a bit. That's why it was grunting. It doesn't take much to, to uh, damage it with those bars in there. Only like an inch or two inches or so, and you've caused damage. And that's what I've done. So I'll show you what the damage is here. here okay so this is what the damage happened here that pushed this out so the bar came right up into here and must it was hitting here it probably would have been better if I would have had the bar angled up here to this ridge right here but I was down lower so it pushed this right out and it damaged the outside of the trailer so I'm gonna have to see if I can pound it back in somehow and somehow screw it up into here, even though I don't have much room to get that back in there. But down there it's okay, it didn't do much damage, but up here it did, so it kind of twisted halfway down on the slide out. So I'm gonna have to go from the outside and try and bring it back in. And it's very stiff. There's a better view here with the slide out out of it, what the damage incurred happened so I'm gonna have to try and peel that back somehow silicone it fix it up the best I can That's that this is the way it should be on this side notice how that side's perfect didn't do any damage there so make sure you take your bars out and I don't know how many people actually use those bars in their slide out. If you don't use them, you know, please tell me why in the comments. I don't think I would ever have an issue with, with not using them, but they're obviously there for a reason. They're built for a reason. Okay, and there's more of a closer up of the damage. It doesn't look too bad down there. It just looks like it twisted it a bit, so I should be able to hopefully hit it back with a couple of hammers here anyway I'll milk you with it here and see what I can get at okay so I was able to take the hammer rubber hammer and hit it all the way as far as I could reach in there because I've got a awning topper here and I whacked it ever so slightly kept hitting it until it brought it back this far now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some silicone in here, RV silicone. The nice thing is, is this gutter here is protecting it, so I don't have to worry too much about it, but I'm going to fill that with silicone. I'm going to drill maybe two pilot holes in here because there's wood right behind here and bring that in and it should sink it back in and hold it. And this is how it looks from the ground with the repair done. Looks much better. And this is the inside. You can tell it's back now. Now that I pushed it back and screwed it in, it's back flush. So that's good. Pretty much all the way along. That's the inside the trailer. Okay, so I've repaired it. I've put silicone in here 
and I drilled three drilled three holes into there on an angle slightly upward and I put three uh, screws in there those are just those roofing screws that have a little washer on them um, so I just and then I hand tightened it in brought it right back to where it should be doesn't look so great but I'll maybe I'll just touch those up with some white paint but uh, otherwise yeah it looks good it's back to normal again and uh, so uh, just a tip for anybody make sure you take those bars out if you do have bars for your slide out because you will cause damage to it if you forget them something you will give either the motor or the trailer will give and cause that problem so luckily I was safe here I didn't go too far but uh, keep that in mind so yeah if you use those bars to hold your slide out in when you're going down the highway just make sure you take them out when you get to where you're going because one little slip up and you'll cause damage to the RV I even thought about just putting a little note here right, right where the switch is for the in and out little switch check bars if you found this video helpful please like uh, like below and uh, subscribe up here ciao for now